Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Platinum Point, and I'm here to bring you guys yet again another White Shorts deck profile. As I promised in my Fate Stay Night deck profile, that I will be doing an update on my an update on my that time I got reincarnated as a slime um, deck because I've been going through a lot of changes with the deck. I've been testing various builds from set one, which was um between the pants wind and the pants door build and after kind of testing and playing around with the deck i realized that the pants door one is the more consistent build and when slime 2 came out i looked at i was able to like dissect the set um very thoroughly and i realized like there's a lot of stuff in that set that is very compact very useful and compatible with this set so i was tinkering around for like about two to three weeks with this deck and i feel like i got to i got a i have a build that i'm very comfortable with so i'm here to showcase what this deck can do so i've been playing this deck for about like three weeks already and i want to showcase what i've been coming up with so far so this is a pants door variant so i'm playing Four of the Legendary Hero Pants Climax from set 1 that pairs with the Shizu level 1 and four of the Power of a Demon Lord which is combos with the 3-2 from set 1 as well. So without further ado let's get on to the deck profile. So we play four copies of It's Delicious Milum. So this is your start main starter of the deck your main opener so this is a um level zero chaser with the ability that at the beginning of your opponent's attack phase you can run in front of a you can run to a column facing one of your opponent's characters and it can be any column so you can move from one column that this card is facing an opponent's character to another one to a more favorable matchup and if you control all demon continent um characters so you're going to guarantee this effect you get plus 2k so it's a 3-5 chaser similar to the goblin slayer slayer one but without the hand requirement for the power pump so this is a good chaser and i played as a four so you can open it almost all the time going first next we play three copies of user of e free um shizu so these two cards right here are from set two are some of the new additions to from the from the set so what this card does the shizu does is um she's basically a slayer or a um shimakai so when it comes when it attacks i can give another character plus 500 times the total number of demon content characters on board and during my opponent's turn if this were to get reverse i can pay one re-rest it and at the beginning of my next encore phase I can shove this into memory. So this is a free memory compression that gives you power pump to allow you to crack boards. Um, we're still playing three copies of the Tribes Princess Shuna, the Salvage Brainstormer, because I was testing with the Rimuru Search Brainstorm, and even though I do like the com the the combination of a Salvage one step with the with a Search Brainstorm this i found in testing to be it seems to be a lot better than the rumor of brainstorm and since you're already running a lot of selective search cards it does make sense to do all that route instead and so the downside of this deck is you are slimming down your your yellow count but you still have enough to basically make sure that you hit your yellows when you need it so next we play two copies of Head of Monsters um, Rimuru, which is an on death Chiori for level one or, or level one or higher card. So this card is, if you don't know what Chiori is, is when it goes from stage to waiting room, you can discard a card, top four, up, check up to the top four cards and add a level, level one or higher card in this situation. It could be another one where it searches for trait on death, which um, Konosuba has it, Fate Apocrypha has it, and I forget what other sets has that um, on death um, Chiori for traits, but it's a really good card. 
Next, we play two copies of the Reamer Tempest from the Trial Deck. So this is basically your scout um, on play. Look at the top part of your deck. Add it to if it's a demon continent. Add it to your hand. Discard a card and then discard a climax for the second ability to salvage a character. So this is your hand fix and your main like utility. One of your big utility level zeros next to the runner and uh, Shimakai. Next, we play two copies of All to One Self, um, Chloe. So we dropped this from three to two because this Shizu is a good starter that that also shoves itself into memory. While this is a a decent starter that digs for the one one um, anti magic mask event. So you're still you still need it to dig for it. But since um, we had to slim down for a better starter, um, this takes um place of the third one the head of monsters so this allows you to chiori for the event and this one allows you to selectively dig for it so having still having that the chloe Ron is needed and then lastly to end our level zeros we play one child inside melon which is a level zero bomb and a pay three stock swap on play so this is your one of the best level zeros in the set and the best one ofs in the set um now going on to the level ones we play four copies of the conqueror of flame shizu so she's basically a cigarettes combo with the pants on attack mill two cards and then you salvage equal to the total level of those two cards milled climaxes are kind of zero and it gains plus 2k so it becomes a 7k on with climax and with this she's it, it can be easily hit 9k which will allow you to crack most level ones really easily so that's why she's so useful and if she does even if she does get the reverse she does have the ability to check the top part of your deck if it's a anti-magic magic anti-magic anti mask or a demon continent character you shove it into memory so this is free compression on a cigarettes combo which is really nice next we play three copies of demon lord ramorous so if you remember from the last video about ramorous so when she comes into play you can pay one free play costs zero from your waiting room onto stage and at the end of your turn shove it into memory so you have to make sure that you keep that character alive in order to get the memory the shove to memory effect and in come some situations you don't want to do that sometimes you just want to play it to crash on crash board and put it back into the waiting room so it's a it's a free character without burning hand which is really good um and then continuing on with the characters we play two copies of creating potion Remaru. so it, they all all three of these abilities are act so one of them is tap this card choose a card from your waiting room and put it underneath as a marker the other one is you can during your turn you could tap this again and choose a mark a card that's under this as a marker and shove it to stock so this helps you build stock as well as build um marker compression which is really nice for a deck like slime since they like to scum cancels through compression next we play one copy of the attendance check room row so this is a um on reverse stock um stock charge provided that you play an act ability and since this deck plays a lot of acts you'll get it off really easy so you're just basically using it to, to try to get cheeky compression at the early game and then after that, just shove it to memory when he, when it falls off. And then lastly, we play four copies of the Anti-Magic Mask, which this one is a pay one, shove this into memory to search a character. So this is your main, your like really true main form of compression because you want to shove all four of these into memory. With the Shizu, you want to at least hit two in the memory. These, you also want to hit all three to the memory. So you want to comp compress as much as you can. And you have so many ways to shove things into memory that the deck naturally just gets into a compressed state. Next, we play one copy of Successor of Orcs Disaster Dying Wishes Geld. So this is a 2-5 uh, backup that also has the ability that when you use this as a backup, you may pay an additional one stock. So you'll be paying a total of two stocks. So for the additional one stock, you get to put this back to your hand from waiting room. So this is a recurring 2-5 backup, which is really nice since 
in most situations you want to be able to win board and the problem with the leaf counter in this situation is it's only a one-time use which means you'll surrender potentially two other two other lanes but with the get with this guild you're potentially able to secure two lanes sadly for the even if it's for the cost of three stock you're gonna recur that advantage as you as you play your deck because the goal of your deck is to basically either is basically to heal down win board and basically win through attrition since you're this deck doesn't have an easy way of closing the game with provide with the exception of two cards so you have to kind of just slug it out with your opponent and cheek advantage as much as you can win those those mat those um trades and beat your opponent down to to win speaking of another key piece to help you win that beat down matchup is this power of a hero shizu which is a 2k assist to level threes and the act ability tap self draw card discard a card so you're basically using this to help beef up your lanes and help you win secure and win board at the same time so going on to the level threes we play one copy of hero king gazelle so it has the on play ability look at the top three cards of your deck and rearrange them in any order then select the character on your opponent's stage and bounce it so this is a suit a blink and a rearrange and it has the act ability pay one select another um demon content character and give it plus one soul um so this card essentially gives you advantage while at the same time allowing you to sculpt your attacks and determine your attack order and get rid of potential threats on the board so next we play one copy of the pursuit millum which is the 3-2 finisher that pairs with this climax the only reason the reason why we're playing one of this is because her effect has a very high cost so you don't want to commit to playing her all at once you just want to use her if you can so she's an on play mill and with the power of a demon lord climax com climax she gains the ability pay five discard three demon continent characters burn two to your inflict two damage to your opponent and restand so this is essentially three instances of damage in one card so you're essentially just push the goal with this is if you're going to use the gazelle to rearrange you're going to try swing bait you're going to either if you see a soul trigger you're going to side with the melum for one restand burn two attack with another lane to try push for more damage and you're going to try secure the game with the three two melum on the side attack so the goal of the deck is to just cheek out advantage and try to try to win at the lane the possible lanes as much as you can and just win that war of attrition lastly we um continue on we play one copy of the dragonoid millum which is a three two the secondary finisher of the deck that is so that when it comes into play you can reveal the top part of your deck if it's a demon continent character burn one and whenever your other characters declare an attack this gets plus 1500 so after so this is your, you're gonna attack with this last in order for it to be a 12 5 and th with the 2k assist it'll be a, a 14 5 and it gains the it has the ability on reverse pay three clock kick so this helps you secure the game if you need to and it's just there to push for rep for damage and help close the game and then wrapping up the level threes, we play two copies of the Achieving Vindication Shion, which is your early play stock heal. And lastly, we play four copies of Memories of Japan Shizu, which is an on play heal at, with the memory condition, with the early play condition of having two or more of Conqueror Flames in memory. And it has the ability if you have two or more other demon continent characters which you'll mostly get it gains plus 1500 and hand on core so this is a 10 5 on its own that has hand on core which is really nice because it's a two soul beat stick that just pushes for damage so i hope you guys like this deck profile i will be doing more videos in the near future but i just want to kind of get the deck profiles out of the way so the next video you're probably going to see is either going to be another Fate Stay Night list, which is 8-door. There's an 8-door variant that I'm going to be testing 
as well as you will probably see my data live deck profile as well so keep an eye on my channel to see what what gets posted so um once again this is platinum point don't forget to rate comment subscribe false crack the like button and false crack the sub sub subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications S once again stay on point guys and have a great day